This is about defending democracy. This is no longer Democrats versus Republicans. What do you want your kids to believe in? There must be give and take. This is White Flag with Joe Walsh. How do you know America is really messed up? How do you know that? How do you know America's in trouble? How do you know that this country we all love is in real trouble? Because the psychopath, the pathological liar, who incited and led a violent attempt to overthrow an American election, has a damn good chance of becoming president again. That's how. That's how we know America's in trouble. It's hard to stay positive. It's hard to stay up. If you pay attention every day to what's going on in this country every day, if you really do, if you go on social media all the time, if you're on Twitter all the time, and you, and you hear about the shootings, you hear about the deaths, you hear about the killings, you hear, you're privy to the fighting, the ugly divisiveness. If you follow the political news day by day, as I do, and so many of you do, it's damn difficult to stay positive. It's really difficult to be optimistic about this country. Again, this country we all love, no matter what your political beliefs are. But man, pull yourself back for a moment. Get out of the forest for just a minute. Step back and take a big view, take a broad view. Think about where we are right now. Think about just for a moment, take a moment and think about what is going on right now. Donald Trump remains the leader of the Republican Party, remains the leader of one of our two major political parties. And right now, as you're listening to me right now, man, he's on his way to becoming the Republican nominee for president. He's going to be the nominee. I think he was always going to be the nominee. I think a lot of people didn't think he was going to be the nominee. A lot of people were whistling past that graveyard, hoping he wouldn't become the nominee. He's going to be the nominee. Think about it. He remains the leader of the party. He's going to be the Republican Party nominee. And he has a really decent chance at becoming president again. Now stop and think about this. Donald Trump is the first sitting president in American history who refused to accept his election loss, refused to accept the will of the people. He's the first sitting president in American history who lost an election, who refused to participate in the peaceful transfer of power. That unique, that uniquely American tradition that the rest of the world always looked upon with awe. Trump was the first that said, fuck that. I don't care about the will of the people. I'm not going to I'm not going to help my successor. I will not participate in the handoff of power. The peaceful handoff of power. And then think about it. Trump then lied about that election. And then think about it. Trump then purposely incited and led what happened on January 6th a violent attempt to overthrow an American election. 15 Americans have already been convicted of seditious conspiracy. Seditious conspiracy. That's a big fucking deal. And they're guilty. And they were convicted. 
and they'll serve time behind bars, those 15, because of Donald Trump. Donald Trump incited them and led them to it. January 6th only happened because Trump lied about the 2020 election. I don't want to revisit that. I'm not going to talk about that again. I only bring that up to say this. That guy, that guy who did it, that guy who is solely responsible for January 6th has a hell of a chance to become president again. You want to understand how messed up, how fucked up this country is right now. That's all. This is all you got to think about. Trump could become president again. In many ways, it's beyond belief that Trump could have done what he did and still be a viable candidate for president. He's un-American. He's anti-democracy. He's a traitor. And yet, and yet, he's got a shot at being in the White House again. I don't believe right now there's a greater piece of evidence, there's a greater, indi a greater indicator of how messed up we are than this. In a healthy country, in a, in a, in a grown-up country, in a country that respected the rule of law, respected democracy, the democratic process, Trump would be, a guy like Donald Trump would be banished. <laughs> Running for president, he'd be behind bars. The head of the Republican Party, he would have been, he would have been banished to some faraway island. He would be treated like a pariah in a healthy country, in a country that still valued its democratic process. But that's not America today. And by the way, all of you listening to me right now who don't believe Trump can become president again, did you believe a couple years ago that he'd be running for president again? Did you believe a week after January 6th he'd remain, he'd still be the leader of the Republican Party? and the overwhelming favor to be the nominee. Did you believe that then? Washington Post put out a poll this past weekend, a troubling poll. Trump's six to seven points up over Biden. Trump's killing Biden right now. That poll may be an outlier, but in every poll between head-to-head -head between Biden and Trump right now, it's neck and neck. This Washington Post poll showed Trump up six to seven. Biden's numbers are horrific. Most people don't want Biden to run again. Most people don't believe physically and mentally he's capable of running again. He's capable of being president. His, uh, 60, his disapproval number was 64%. Only 36% of the American people approve of the job he's doing more People in America believe that Donald Trump is mentally fit to be president than Joe Biden. Hell yes. Fuck yes. Donald Trump can get elected again. Right now, it's better than 50-50. I'll say that because I believe that. Right now, there's a better than 50-50 chance that Donald Trump's president again. Don't tell me it can't happen. Don't tell me it won't happen. All you defenders of democracy had better wake the fuck up. And, and, and if you're exhausted as I am, tough. And if you're, by the way, if you're sick and tired of old Joe Biden, tough. Grow the hell up. Right now, he may be, it looks like he will be, again, the only person standing between Donald Trump and the White House. 
Go ahead and complain about Joe Biden. Go ahead and complain about the fact that he's too old. Go ahead and complain about the fact that he needs a nap every day. Go ahead and complain about the fact that he has a hard time putting eight or nine or ten sentences together. Right now, he's it. There was a there was a a conservative never Trumper commentator on TV over the weekend who bemoaned the fact that America, an unserious country, America, had two unfit candidates. It looks like we were going to have two unfit candidates running for president. I'm sorry, Joe Biden may be old. I'm sorry, Joe Biden may have slowed down. He's not unfit. And don't put anybody, Jonah Goldberg it was. Jonah Goldberg, good guy, smart guy, the dispatch. Jonah Goldberg, don't ever put anybody in the same unfit sentence as Donald Trump. Biden may be old, he's not unfit. Donald Trump tried to overthrow an American election. He is manifestly unfit. Yeah, I'm a dark Irishman. And yeah, I worry. And yeah, I don't know if our better days are ahead of us. What I do know is this country I love is in trouble right now. The simple fact that Donald Trump is running will get the nomination and could be elected again tells you everything you need to know about how messed up America is right now. And so you better wake up. We better wake up. We got a tough road a busy road this next year and a half to do everything we can to make sure that doesn't happen, that Trump's not reelected. I'm Joe Walsh. Thank you for listening to this podcast, White Flag with Joe Walsh. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, White Flag with Joe Walsh. Subscribe. It does not cost you anything. It's free. Listen to this podcast, White Flag with Joe Walsh, wherever you listen to podcasts. Um, uh, Spotify, Apple. Follow me on Twitter, at Walsh Freedom. Instagram, Facebook, follow me. Tell everybody you know about this podcast. It means a lot to me. Uh, it would mean a lot to me if you spread the word about this podcast. Thank you so much for listening. God bless. Have a good week. Joe Walsh here. Governmentauction.com. It's a live auction site where you bid against other people interested in land, jewelry, coins, all kinds of collectibles, even Rolex watches. Have you ever wanted a 40-acre plot of land in Texas or Wyoming? Governmentauction.com has it. If you're the winning bidder, you don't need to go through credit checks. You just make a few down payments, keep your monthly payments going for a few years, and the land is yours. While you're making payments, you can use the land just like you would if you owned it. I know I've always wanted a big piece of land where I could go and just hang out, hunt, or hang with my dogs. And it's easy to sign up and start bidding on something that catches your eye. Go to governmentauction.com. It takes less than five minutes. Governmentauction.com.